Okay, let's have the solution to example 17 for the beam loaded as shown. Apply method of superposition to determine the maximum bending moment. The average shear stress using the formula maximum shear over if depth of the beam times thickness of web. And the maximum shear stress using the formula BQ over IB from your set of tutorials. Then the vertical deflection at the free end use E is 200 kilopascals and the beam is W12 by 35 it is 12 by 35 this is the nominal depth in inches but not automatically 12 inches very close to that and 35 is the uniform weight of the beam in pound per foot so that's English system in SI that's W310 310 is the nominal depth of the beam in mm but that exactly 310 and 52 is the uniform weight of the beam in kilogram per meter so this is the beam these are we have a table for the properties of the the section so the uniform weight of the beam is 52 kilogram per meter times 9.81 to make it newton per meter and we divide 1000 to make it kilonewton per meter. So the uh, uniform weight of the beam is 0.51 kilonewton per meter. Therefore, imagine that the beam is loaded with a total uniform load of 6 plus 0.51. So 6.51 kilonewton per meter. So take note we have a concentrated load here. That's why we apply superposition. So therefore, the maximum moment by experience or obviously it occurs here at the fixed support and it should be counteracting the clockwise moment of the load so this is the table i told you in english system so these are all uh, inches and pound per foot so for the maximum moment it is supposedly the maximum moment due to the uniform load plus the maximum moment due to the concentrated load so it is 6.51 times 4.8 times 2.4 plus 12 times 4.8 that's the maximum moment for maximum shear it's of course at the support it is the total load uh, 6.51 times 4.8 plus 12 so let's start with a max so it is 6.51 times 4.8 times 2.4 plus 12 times 4.8 so we get maximum moment equals 132.6 kilonewton meter then the maximum shear which we need to compute to substitute in this formula here maximum shear is 6.51 times 4.8 plus 12 so the maximum shear is equal to 43.25 kilonewtons or 43,250 newtons. So the uh, depth of the beam is double 12 by 35. It is 12.5 inches here times 25.4 conversion factor from inches to mm. 21 inch is 25.4 mm. So 317.5 mm. For the thickness of the web, so we have the web here, uh, it's 0.3, so 0.3 times 25.4 will get uh, 7.62 mm. So substitute into the formula, tau average equals maximum shear 43,250 newtons over 317.5 mm, thickness of web 7.62 mm. The unit is newton per mm square or megapascal. So in megapascals, the average shear stress is 17.88 megapascals for the maximum uh, shear stress it occurs at the neutral axis so there's a need to draw in detail the section so remember that the actual wide plan section has fillet at, at the corners so we have fillets here rounded corner and also at these junctions here we have fillets but the approximate moment of inertia would be uh, different but only minimal the difference is minimal so
So we just treat this as rectangles to compute for the moment of inertia with respect to the neutral axis. So this is the neutral axis, the value of DF or the width of the flange. So we have the flange here. The width is 6.56 inches times 25.4. So that would be 166.6 mm. The thickness of the flange. So you have your flange thickness. It's 0.52 uh, inch. So 0.52 times 25.4. You will get 13.21 mm. So 13.21 mm. Then the thickness or the height, this height here, inner height, is equal to depth 317.5 minus 2 times 13.21. That's the over height. Then divide that value by 2. So thickness of width 7262. Dividing that value by 2, so this half of the inner height is 154.54. So the distance of the centroid of the flange from the neutral axis is 145.54 then plus half of 13.21 and that would be 152.40. So we can now compute capital Q which is the static moment of area. So from BQ over IB, Q is 166.6 times 13.21 then the moment arm 152.14 from the neutral axis plus this rectangle here which is 7.62 times 145.54 times distance of the centroid is half of 145.54 so 7.62 145.54 times 145.54 over 2 so the static moment of area is 415,530.6 mm cube then next is we compute for the moment of inertia, although there's an even moment of inertia here in the next table, but I want you to prepare computing moment of inertia in case the properties of the section are not even. So we simply treat this as big rectangle, then minus the moment of inertia of these smaller rectangles combined. So for the big rectangle, the dimension would be 166.6. The overall height is 317.5. Then for these two inner rectangles, you can combine the neutral axis is the same. Is 166.6 minus 7.62. And the overall height is uh, 145.54 times 2. So that's around 291.08. So, moment of inertia is BH cube over 12. So, 166.6 times 317.5 cube over 12 minus 166.6 minus 7.62 times 291.08 cube over 12. So, the moment of inertia is 117.6 times 10 to the 6 mm to the 4. We now substitute it into the formula. So, tau max is equal to 43250 times Q. 415.530.6 divided by moment of inertia. Then B. B is the thickness of the section at the neutral axis, which is 7.62, the thickness of the wheel. So the unit here is again megapascals, and this is expected to be higher than this value, but not so high difference. So because of this additional uh, area. So it is equal to 20.06 megapascals. And finally, for the deflection, so remember, without the concentrated load, there's deflection due to the uniform load, delta W, and due to the concentrated load at the end, the, there is also a formula. So if you can recall your strength of material, so you may derive this, but I will only present the derivation when we reach the topic on detection for the meantime, it's your job to familiar with the deflection formulas for common loading, especially uh, for uniformly distributed load, what's the maximum deflection at the end, and for concentrated load, what's the maximum deflection at the end. So for uniformly distributed load, it is WL to the fourth over 8 EI. For the concentrated load, it is PL cubed over 3 EI. So you consult tables on deflection and verify that 
the formulas are WL to the fourth over eight EI, then for P PL cube over three EI. So substituting values, we want to express the deflections in mn. So all dimension should be Newton mn. Then so we have W which is 6.51 kilonewton per meter times 4.8 meter to the fourth. So kilonewton per meter times meter to the fourth is kilonewton meter cube. That's why we have to multiply 1000 to the fourth to make it newton mn cube. Likewise, in the denominator, we have 8 to 100,000 megapascals is newton per mn square, and 117.6 times 10 to the 6 is mn to the 4th. So the unit in the denominator is newton mn square. The numerator is newton mn cube. So newton mn cube divided by newton mn square is mn. So that would be in mn. So likewise, here we have P12 span 4.8 cube and multiply 1000 to the fourth to make it newton mn cube the denominator is newton mn square so 3 ei so delta max is equal to the first term is 18.366 the second is 18.808 then combined delta max is 37.72 downward so that's the maximum deflection